let's implement these expressions. We have C and D and F. This is nothing else, just the tree input and gate. So I have C, D, F. The output function is C times D times F. For example, sometimes you do not have tree input and gate. So we are going to use the associated flow, which says that we can combine two gates together. We have CD and I have extra gate, which is going to give me third input, F. So if you are going to try to find the output function, this is nothing else C times D, so this is CD and CD times F is going to give me CD F. Now let's take a look at the example B. Again, this is nothing else, just tree input or gate. I have A, B, D. This is my output. A or B or D. For example, at this moment, you do not have tree input or gate. So you have to build it. Again, you are going to use associative law, which allows you to use two input or gates. So I have A, B, and or with D. So the output function of this circuit is A or B or D. Okay, because I'm going to have over here A or B. This is my D. This is tree input or gate. Let's take a look at the next example. I have OR gate, I have AND gate, and I have inverter. So I'm going to have Q, this is going to be my Q input, and it's going to go to the OR gate, and I have AND gate, and I have input C, input A is connected to the inverter, and the output is connected to the OR. Let's find the output function of this circuit. So I'm going to have over here Q. This is going to be C. And this is my A node. End it with A node. And on the output, I'm going to have Q or C A node. 